The day is here. The match everyone has been talking about, and with good reason. Two teams of strong pedigree, rich in talent, on the cusp of going head-to-head -head in a highly significant confrontation with so much to play for. How will it pan out? Stay tuned to EA TV. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League. The group stage and match day one. My goodness, so much to look forward to. It's Racing Club de Lens and they take on PSV. Struggling to get it away. And the attack fizzling out. Starting lineup for Racing Club de Lens. Well, it's a 3 4 2 1 with three at the back, two central midfield players, and two wing backs. But the two behind the centre forward will be key today. They need to play well, that's for sure. And the starting 11 for PSV. Well, it's a 3 4 2 1 with two players behind the centre forward, but they need to link up as much as possible. They're going to be key to the way this system works, otherwise, the centre forward could become isolated well he has those refreshing freewheeling qualities Erving Lozano Stuart what might we see from him in this game well the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas and he can certainly play in tight areas he wriggles out situations he can find that penetrative pass and he's such a good player when he gets the ball out of his feet and gets shots away he could be the outstanding player today Lozano Test. Now with Lozano. Well, it's one pass after another. Lozano. Test. Well, did well to win the ball back. Good looking sequence. Lozano. Return to Lozano. Machado Sotoka what can they do from here he has time to play it over and a harmless cross gobbled up Lozano and the cross into the middle Priority was to hang on to the ball, which he did. Well, the defenders know they need... Well, that looked to me like excessive force. What was the referee's reading of it? Well, he's going to be taking no further part in this match. Well, it's not a clever challenge, is it? They're going to have to dig in now. Went in strongly, decisively. Will it be? 
still could be dangerous. Wahi. Well, the timing was perfect. Ball one. And teammates around him. Could be dangerous. An important challenge. But a goal to give them a 1-0 lead. An excellent value for that advantage, you've got to say. Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. So underway again here, one nil the score. El Yawahi, Sotoka, Grady. Now the pass not finding its target. Noah Lang, textbook closing down, and now they're on the attack. Lozano. Machado. Now with Medina. And credit due, a good intervention. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Options in the centre. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, Erving Lozano was influential in the first half. What did you make of his contribution? Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Well, no stopping him, but really sticking to the task defensively. Could be a chance to break here. And playing it through. And it's gone in! The team's separated by two goals now. You cannot say they don't deserve it. Well, here it is again, and the keeper's lost his concentration here. He's totally in the wrong position. He'll be disappointed with that. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. El Yawahi David Machado Chance to cross Oh my goodness, you've really got to praise the defending That was top notch Great defending Gustil. Test. Is it going to be? And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping.
And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Promising attack, this. A smart stop here. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Playing it short. Delivering it into the box. Well denied only by the post. Well, he got to the ball first, but he just couldn't keep it on target. He's really unlucky there. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Thomason. Salis Abdul Samed. And they do like to press whenever they can. Thomason. Moving forward effectively. And the snuffing out of the cross there. The high press was on, and that's a fantastic tackle. This looks interesting. Will he play it in? Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Andre Ramaglio. Jordan Teze. Gustil. Teze. Teal. Lang. High quality defending. Sotoka. Kevin Danzel. And now Thomason. PSV recovering possession well. Now the counter attack looks on. Gustil. No oh, chance perhaps. Well, I was on the cusp of saying he's at it again. Looked as though he might score again. Well, he's certainly looking sharp today. That could easily have been his second there. And taken short and whipped into the box. Five minutes left. And tidily played. It's offside, and perhaps he should have been a bit more alert. And maybe a little bit more aware in the box. He was just too static. Salis Abdul Samed. And if you're wondering about out of time, two minutes it'll be. Olivier Boscalli. Oh. 
So full time it is, and a morale boosting three points on the board to begin their European campaign. Yeah, it's so vital to get off to a quick start in these group stages. They'll be happy with the three points, but now they have to back it up in the next game. Six points and you're halfway there. And we tend to take for granted production from Erving Lozano. That's what we got. How would you summarise his contribution, Stuart? Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him. 